Welcome on in everybody. So I streamed today, well yesterday because this video is uploaded the next day, but I had a lot of fun. I haven't played OPR in a good couple weeks and the footage for the build video and everything was from a couple weeks ago. So this was my first time back on this build. Um, I guess after a little bit of a break playing it and oh my god man this build feels so good I don't know what to say just so much fun but that's not the focus of today today I got an awesome fight with the one and only tranquility if you guys have ever seen this guy in pvp you've probably been on the fighting end of it and he locks you down with a nasty stun combo an incredibly good player very good at jumping on top of people and very good at reading combat as well as making escapes and yeah, I had him on my team this game, and holy crap, man, we had some great fights inside the enemy outpost just holding as best we could. So without further ado, let's get in that PvP commentary. As you can see there, the first the first player that came in, Tranquility, jumped on top of, and I put one bullet into him before Tranquility already had him dead. And then I do a little bit of a fake. The Zerg follows me, and this is where I'm talking about that beautiful situational awareness. He sees everybody turned around, jumps in behind, and just opens up that stun for me to put a big shot into that guy. And together we bring down another player in the stack. And it looks like we have a third friendly player with us here as well with the bow. And uh, Tranquility just trying to coax them to come outside the door. I totally get it. I go inside because I know what I want to do is break the group in half and the other two follow in behind me and they fight the other half while these two players kind of lock on me and that is absolutely perfect. But more enemy players start coming in here so I go back around the side um, thinking I have a bigger tail but they actually go inside so I'm going to have to run back in to try to help a little bit and uh, yeah, just shooting some shots at the door. This guy actually really low health. I did hit him with the uh, powder burn there but he ends up dodging the power shot and now I'm just kind of in a, an awkward spot outside the keep here. This guy ends up following me around the corner. Oh no, he rides with his horse right into the trap. The power, the powder burn alone bringing him to about half health. He heals up, switches to his spear, and I get great damage there with, uh, with my rapier. And just like that, Tranquility coming in to finish him off. He ends up going down, and I turn around right away to uh, focus on this mage. Tranquility runs in to try to get a target here, but he doesn't commit to anything, just being patient. And uh, I shoot a shot in and then I move back out. Tranquility decides he's going in. I say, okay, throw my trap down and I go in as well. There's a fireball behind me there. So I have to be very careful. I jump on top of this guy with the flesh. Tranquility already has a nasty lockdown on him and we end up bringing him down. And I move up towards the uh, gun here because there was someone firing it, but he ended up jumping off of it right away. And that's just a bad flesh. I didn't want to jump out of the tower there, but I'm going to do my best. Sit on the side here and just support him with as much fire as I can. I get a bit of damage into that hammer player. And uh, Tranquility decides that he doesn't want to sit up there. He's moving around a lot when he plays too. So he's got very, very mobile play style. And it's hard for me to kind of keep track of where he is. But I know if someone is chasing something, it's probably him that they're chasing. So we're just going to use that as best we can in this fight to kind of coordinate. And I get some decent damage on this guy. He heals up. Tranquility gets the lockdown. I try to throw the trap to help him out, but I end up missing it. And uh, I don't see the body on the ground. He wasn't able to get the kill. I jump on top of the lower health player, try to put some damage in. But again, a lot of pressure from these guys. And uh, I try my best just to roll out of there and heal up a little bit. But no matter where I go, I've always got somebody shooting me. And there we go around the corner. Two more players. Oh my god, though, the healing power on this build is just something else. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm dodging all the major attacks, don't get me wrong, but the chip damage, I'm just able to survive because of this healing power, and eventually they finally get on top of me, and yeah, no amount of healing is going to save you from one shot. Moving on, I come back out here, and uh, I come right back to help out, and look who I find right away, Tranquility, running around. I have a few players on my tail. I throw the trap down. There's big damage with my gun, Tranquility, with the lockdown, making it so easy for me to put that damage in and uh, just finish him off with the flesh there. Tranquility goes back around the corner, and I'm just going to do my best to try to put some damage in this mage. He drops his stamina, and yeah, he knows that that was a big mistake. I know that was a big mistake. I try to punish him for it, but he does have the uh, Entomb for the save. And there's the shot from the musket. Just not enough. And he ends up rolling out here. And yeah, 
Good job rolling. Um, even if that was on target, he would have dodged at the time that I shot that. And I don't have time to sit around and wait for another shot. I right away turn around and uh, try to put a bit of pressure into this archer. And what I'm just trying to do here is just get my back so that there's no one behind me. Um, just try to find myself not sandwiched. But these guys decide I'm a pretty unattractive target at this point, And they end up just peeling off. So they let me run inside here. And I'm going to help Tranquility take down the... Uh, the spawner here. I turn around to jump on top of this great axe and bow player. Oh my god. Now I've seen it all, guys. What? It, what is he even... How... It doesn't matter. Cool build. Either way, I throw a couple shots into him. He ends up taking quite a bit of damage from it and backs up. And then uh, Tranquility manages to take down the spawner. And it's just us and this spear player here. And I just do my best to help out a little bit. You know, I, I don't need to. But hey, killing him faster, probably better for the fight. And now more enemy players come in. Tranquility just waiting on the ground. He ends up diving in, gets a great stun there, and there's my shot. We managed to take down one target on the door right away. And the rest of the enemy players um, kind of backing up as they come in here and going for some range damage. Looks like Fire Staff and a bow player. And Tranquility jumps on top of one. And as they turn around again, I just... Dude, it's like me and, me and this guy. I don't know what it is. I've never played with him before, but it's like we just know where each other are and it's so good i'm always jumping behind them he's jumping behind as well and we're able to pick up so much damage and kills just because we're turning these guys around and i end up working up to the top here finding myself kind of uh slowly pushed back by the bulky players here and oh man i take quite a bit of damage from some ranged attacks as i get locked down by the hammer and I'm forced to pop my ultimate and everything to heal up. Even after all that, I'm still taking a lot of damage, fairly low on health. I managed to make it inside, and now I'm in a really nasty spot. The repost does not get pinged either. And I gotta say, there is not a better time that that Zerg could have showed up, because I was a dead man. So thank you very much, Zerg. I appreciate it. And then, uh, of course, a bit of time goes by, and I end up staying here. I think Tranquility is still here somewhere, too. And we're trying to hold this outpost still this guy um as the enemies retake the outpost this guy ends up turning around to fight me there's the fireball coming in as well i try to just stick it out and put the damage into the hammer player but the fire mage taken way too much damage out of me so i'm forced to just retreat and uh heal up a little bit and it looks like these guys aren't chasing they're just gonna go inside and that's okay with me so I follow back around the other side, and it looks like I've got quite a few players in there. Right away, I take quite a bit of damage from the fireball. It looks like another guy just riding in. Doesn't even pay attention. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. And uh, they've turned around and chased Tranquility, because he is, like I said, he's in here. He's fighting them. I'm trying to put some shots into this guy. He ends up dodging the attack, the hammer player, on my tail. But I'm not too worried about him. This kind of a build, we can avoid... Um, the hammer pretty well and we managed to get good dodges on his great axe there's the shot right after the repost is it enough the dots are ticking away i don't think so he's still alive i see him in the back there and uh, i just take too much damage here i really got to back it up all my heals are blown and i do have the trap though so if i can get a nice bit of uh, health steal here um oh i should have put the trap down there 100 percent either way this guy ends up backing out i do manage to proc the roll and get a bit of a heal there too and the red players just kind of scrambling all over here. This is absolutely perfect. Look at this guy, very low on health. Tranquility's trying to get the finish on him. And I end up coming in here through the musket shot. I managed to land, but on the wrong player. And there we go. The low health player takes damage. He ends up going down. I get behind the fire mage as he's casting the hard cast move. And I deal a lot of damage to him. There's the first musket shot. Oh my god, man. It's not often that my aim works, guys, but today is one of those days. I was landing my shots. There it is again. Tranquility got hit by the repost, and I just put the cap into his head right before he can get hit by the flesh and uh, jump right back in, and this is perfect, I know, but these guys, they're getting wise to it. I wanted them to chase me up the stair here, but they didn't. Instead, they watched outside where Tranquility was, and uh, it looks like he actually dove in kind of underneath the staircase somewhere here. There's a lot of commotion going on down there. I'm able to just pick up the repost and I managed to survive, but I'm just wanting to hold the high ground here. If I can help it, I don't drop off the edge because then I have fewer options where I can go. And these guys are all jumping off the edge too. That's the thing. When, when we got that kind of healing power, I can stick things out a little bit longer than I was able to previously. But yeah, just end up dropping off the edge anyway, taking a little too much damage from the fire mage, and uh, I end up managing to peel away. Of course, I managed to get myself killed, but 
nothing cool happens there. So we're moving on to after that death. And I end up coming back, pick on, pick on this poor guy. He's very low health, no resources left. And uh, just finish him off. And man, I, I looked at the scores here. So I had had three deaths um, at this point. Tranquility has died one time. That's absolutely incredible how well he's able to stay alive on this melee build in here. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving back into the commentary. Tranquility's doing his best to just kind of lock people down. I throw the trap and man, oh. If that trap lands, it's a death sentence. But beautiful job. He sees that they're all facing their backs to, to me and trying to come after him. He pulls him up the staircase and I'm just able to get a super easy backstab in and take down the healer. And that is a, a really really useful kill for us in this fight and as you guys can see man we've been here a while these guys are getting more and more coy as the fight goes on they they know that we hurt and uh they know tranquility is hiding he's in crouch there which kind of hides his plate so look how the guy completely ignores him doesn't even notice that he's coming up but tranquility's waiting not for the first for the second guy it's the first guy he knows is for me and uh i started fighting the first guy get some decent damage but i whiff the combo super hard there just kind of falling off the edge and tranquility makes his way up here trying to take his target down unfortunately um he finds himself having to retreat back to the post there and i drop down to try to go on the lower health player but yeah i maybe should have stayed up high i didn't really have a good opportunity to put some damage in there but that's okay we got an easy escape i thought but then i get the silly glitch with the gun and uh Thankfully, when I swap back to my gun there, I don't have the glitch and I'm able to take the shot. And these guys just keep chasing us. That is basically the moral of the story. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this. Of course, if you want to see a written guide and a build guide, a video guide to this build, there's links down below for it. And a big thank you to Tranquility. Um, I'm going to try my best to try to find uh, some Twitch and YouTube stuff for him and put the links down below if you guys want to see more content. But yeah absolutely fantastic gameplay big thank you to him for you know putting up with me <laughs> in these fights it was really awesome of course a big thank you to our sponsor expressvpn they can help keep you safe on the internet y'all can get a deal with them thanks to the link down below and of course a big thank you to all of my patrons on patreon uh, for supporting the show if you guys have supported in the past supporting now doesn't matter thank you guys so much for just helping keep the show going i really appreciate it so I hope you guys enjoy this last little bit of footage as I do my best to try to stay alive and not die. Um, oh, well, that was short. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you next time.